What's up guys, I'm Taylor from Go Power Sports. I'm going to show you how to prep your unit tank for installation. So you purchased a Go Power Sports unit tank. What do you do next? Here is the unit tank right here. Six mounting holes, comes with all the hardware you would need. These bolt directly to a Rascal or Rascal GT mini bike. They will fit many other mini bikes, but you have to come up with your own bracketry to mount it. We are currently working on different mounting kits for a variety of mini bikes, so stay tuned on those. Here is the gas cap that is supplied with the unit tank. We're gonna go ahead and tank that off. So once you have it mounted approximately where you want on your mini bike, you then will select your petcock location. So on this bike, if you look on this tank that I already have mounted, there's a tons of empty space where we could mount it. I'm going to do this location right here. So I'm going to center it on the frame, pretty much where our little cheater hole is right there. I like to start with a smaller bit, get a pilot hole, and then we'll step up to the half inch drill bit. Have our first hole. We'll shake all the plastic out at the end. You do want to make sure you get all the plastic out of there. If you have an air line, it'd be good to shoot a bunch of air in there. Make sure you get it all out. There you go. That was a 3 8. So the step bits that I use, or the pilot bits that I used, I used a quarter inch to start the hole, three eighths to go a little bigger, and then half inch is your finish hole size. Next I'm going to take a little pocket knife, just clean up the edges. Before we get the pet cock in, Definitely want to make sure all of the plastic is out. Okay. I see no more. Are there any no-no areas? No. Don't, because this is not a seam. This is a... It's not a seam. That is a tooling mark where this is all one solid piece of plastic. This is not a seam where two halves are glued together, essentially. This is a tool that splits apart, and that is the line that the tooling makes. So if you go to paint it or something, it'd be a good idea to take a sanding pad smooth that out, get you a nice smooth finish, which we're gonna do on this tank before we paint. Okay, we need some sort of lubricant. I'm going to use oil. and you're gonna press it in all the way to this lip. And be careful with the uh, fuel filter. Make sure you press that in there nice and easy. And it can be tricky to press this all the way in. So you don't want to push, obviously, on one side and bend it. You don't want to push on the nipple over here. You want to kind of even out your pressure and get kind of a wiggle motion to get her in there. Almost there. Getting closer. Very nice. 
there you have it. This is the petcock installed in the unitank. On off. As you can see, that is not coming out of there. So what's cool about this, this is a 3 16 barb. If you're using quarter, you can cut that off and use quarter inch line on this barb. Nice. Dual. Dual. Oh. I didn't even know that. That's tight.